Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing my weekly bathroom cleaning routine. I have two bathrooms in my house total. Um, if you like this kind of content, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and get into today's video. <music> So the first thing that I like to do when I clean my bathrooms is get both the sink and the bathtub soaking while I'm cleaning everything else out um, or cleaning everything else down. So here I'm going ahead and just taking everything out of the bathtub. Forgot to show you this product, but what I'm using to spray down the bathtub with is the OxyClean Kaboom. I personally really like this one. I think it makes everything smell really fresh after you've used it. <laughs> Here, I'm just taking everything off the bathroom counter so I can give it a good wipe down. And again here, I'm using the Kaboom on both the sink and the countertop. bathroom that I'm cleaning right now is my four-year-old little girl's bathroom and she got uh, nail polish on the counter and I've not been able to get it off. If you have any suggestions, please leave those in the comments. <music> I'm just picking up the rugs in the bathroom. I like to wash these at least once a week, if not more. <music> I don't know if I'm weird or not, but it, I find it so satisfying to watch the suds from the cleaning supplies going, washing down the drain. Um, leave down in the comments what is a satisfying part of cleaning for you. <music> Thank you. 
Here you'll see that I'm using the Method Glass Cleaner. Um, I prefer this one over Windex just because it doesn't, it has a better smell. It kind of has like a minty smell. Um, I'm not really big on products, cleaning products that smell like bleach or, you know, cleaning supplies. Um, another thing that I might get questions on is I do use coffee filters when cleaning my mirrors. Um, either coffee coffee filters or um, newspaper are great for cleaning glass. Here I'm cleaning the toilet and again I'm using the OxyClean Kaboom. Um, I think it smells good and it doesn't smell very abrasive. Um, the other thing I'll be using is the Clorox Toilet Wand. These I am a huge fan of. <laughs> I clean the toilet with the uh, Clorox toilet wand. I like to wipe down the handle from that um, with Lysol just because you did obviously just clean a toilet. <music> Now I'm going to get on to cleaning the bathtub itself. Um, this week I wanted to try something different. So I'm using the um, head of my O-Cedar mop um, just because it can be kind of strenuous on your back to get in and like clean the walls and the, the floor of the tub. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm a big fan of it yet. I think I'm going to try it a couple more times, but I do think eventually I'd like to invest in one of those um, le like electric scrubbers. <music> Here you'll see me um, spraying down the faucet or the thing that you turn on the tub with, with Dawn Power Wash. I'm a huge, huge fan of Dawn Power Wash, especially for cleaning um, bathtubs. Uh, the only reason why I used the Kaboom this time was I was doing a little bit more of a deep clean this week. <music> And finally, it is time to rinse all the soap off. Um, the cup method is not necessarily the most realistic because you get water all over yourself. Um, eventually, I think I'm going to get one of those um, hoses that you can hook up to your shower head. It should make things a lot easier. <laughs>
now that I've gotten the bathtub clean, I'm just uh, putting back all of the products back into the shower. <laughs> to show you guys this part I'm not sure if it's just my kid or all kids are like this but my daughter has a million bath toys this is just like a finally I'm going to mop the floors with my Tyneco um, wet vac mop thing um, I can't remember the exact title of it but I'll link it down below in the description box um, this thing is wonderful because it just saves you time instead of having to vacuum first or sweep first you can just do both at the same time with um, vacuuming it up and also mopping I highly would suggest getting one of these especially if you live in a house that has majority of wood floors. you guys that is the end of today's video these same steps I uh, do in my own bathroom in the master bathroom I will video or uh, post a video on that separately on another day um, but if you do like this type of content please make sure that you like the video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one